Hey guys, Richard Miller here from Miller Type Foundry. Got some exciting news today. Uh, I've got a brand new type family that I've been working on that I want to uh, announce. It's called Uniform Pro. I actually released Uniform about six years ago, back in 2014. And you know, I've, I've definitely learned a lot about typography, learned a lot about making fonts, learned a lot about fonts in general in the past six years. And I've taken that knowledge and I've upgraded Uniform into a pro version. I've added new features like a lot of open type features, added uh, some symbols, added a ton of new language support like Greek and Cyrillic. So uh, definitely excited to showcase in this video all the new features of Uniform. So without any further ado, here's Uniform Pro. All right, so here's Uniform Pro. And as you can see, um, showcasing here in uh, the main image that Uniform Pro offers support for Cyrillic languages as well as uh, the Greek language. And uh, not only does it offer, you know, traditional Roman upright uh, style, but also has italics included with it, which is something that uh, Uniform did not have. First, I'd like to start off with a quote by Steve Jobs, I think this is pretty interesting. Design is a funny word. Some people think design means how it looks, but of course, if you dig deeper, it's really how it works. And you know, that's so interesting because, you know, as a designer, uh, you know, people use fonts, people design images, and they think they're supposed to just look pretty sometimes. And, um, you know, that's one function of it, but design is really about uh, making things functional in the sense that they accomplish a job. If a font, isn't legible doesn't matter how pretty it looks it's useless so i just think that's a, a really cool quote kind of ties into typography and how you know fonts are they're really a tool that designers use uniform is a typeface with three different widths it's kind of the foundation of uniform uniform regular starts as a circular geometric typeface and there's a lot out there that have uh, a circular O. Fur Futura is one, for example. So Futura has an O that's pretty much a circle. And you know that's all fine and well. It's a very popular style. It looks clean. It looks very attractive. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to that. But with Futura, as well as pretty much every other geometric circular uh, type family out there, if they ever have any condensed styles, uh, the O basically just kind of becomes an oval or a squished O. There's another style of typefaces like DIN, for instance, where it's basically, uh, it, I call it straight-sided, condensed typefaces, where basically, you know, they'll have an O where the top is a curve and the bottom is a curve and the sides are straight. So that was the basis for Uniform, where basically, as you can see, it's three different widths. And the regular width, the O is pretty much a circle. The condensed width, the O is basically two circles stacked on top of each other and the sides are straight where they meet. And then the extra condensed width is two circles stacked on top of each other as well with the sides uh, are straight. And that's basically the basis for uniform. So basically it's 42 styles total. You've got thin, light, <clears throat> thin, light, regular, medium, bold, black, ultra, and then italics for each of those. And then as you can see, these are the regular width these are the condensed, and then these are the extra condensed. So it's 42 fonts total in, in the whole package, in the family. And like I said, you know, in Uniform Pro, one of the things that makes it Pro is the extended language support. So here's some Cyrillic uh, languages, and it's not just Russian. There's many other Cyrillic languages outside of Russian. They're an extended Cyrillic character set. So Uniform offers all that support. And you can see a lot of those there. And you know, I don't speak a lick of Russian, but uh, you know, I think the Cyrillic, the Cyrillic uh, style definitely looks pretty cool. So I'm happy how these turned out. And in addition to Cyrillic, uh, Uniform Pro also offers Greek support. So as you can see, uh, this uppercase Greek letters, as well as lowercase Greek letters. So those are, these are pretty fun to design. Definitely something different. Um, so I definitely had a blast designing those, definitely enjoyed it. And uh, another uh, thing I want to cover is all of the open type features. So <clears throat> here's one of the open type features the Uniform Pro offers, and it's old style figures. And if you're not familiar with open type features, uh, basically uh, this is an illustrator right now. And if you open this open type panel, 
there's different features that uh, Uniform Pro offers. And you might, you know, a lot of the fonts that you already have might offer these features and maybe you just weren't aware of it. But basically you go to the open type panel and you click uh, by default, the numbers are gonna look like this. But when you click uh, proportional old style, it makes these numbers a little bit smaller. And basically the point of an old style figures or old style numbers is to make the numbers a little bit smaller so they blend in with body text better. And so that's that, tabular lining figures. Uh, these are basically where all of the numbers occupy the exact same width. So that when you have, uh, as you see, these are, these are what's called proportional figures. And basically certain characters like the one or the seven that have a lot of white space inside of them, they take up a lot less space. So there's not these awkward white gaps. As you can see, depending on what number is typed out, uh, the amount of space that each number occupies can vary dramatically. But with tabular lining figures, they all occupy the exact same amount of space. So if you have some sort of chart that you're building, if you have some sort of uh, table, you, know, you definitely wanna use the tabular lining figures so that all your numbers, all your uh, math symbols, all your uh, currency line up perfectly. And to access that, you just go to the open type panel and like I said, by default, it's gonna look like that. You pick tabular lining and everything's gonna line up perfectly there. So that's that. Um, numerators is a feature that I wanted to offer in Uniform Pro. And basically, let's say you, uh, you have a, you wanna design an advertisement and you have the price typed out like that and you wanna make the number smaller, you know, if you just simply take these numbers and just reduce them and just make them smaller, uh, the problem is that this number symbol here, because it's just a shrunken down version of the same character, same style, it's gonna appear very thin and dramatically different than the rest of these. So that's that, and to access those, super simple. Um, you just go into open type and down here position, there's the default position, and there's numerator. I did that for all the numbers, but I also did it for currency symbols. So for instance, you wanna type out cents, you wanna type out British pound, you wanna type out the euro, it includes all those currencies as well. So that's numerators. Fractions is an open type feature that's very useful. Um, you know, the traditional way, if there again, if you just type, if you don't want to type out regular fractions and you want to just shrink these characters down, similar to the uh, numerator problem, is that these are obviously going to appear way thinner and they're not going to look good compared to the rest of your text. If I were to just manually create these, as you can see here, they're just so much thinner than the rest of the text that it just looks ugly, it just doesn't match. It'd be, it'd be a disaster. But with these fractions, like I said, these have been intentionally, the weight of it has been increased a little bit to make it blend perfectly with uh, the rest of the characters at normal size. And the way you access these, just go to the open type panel and it's not in any of these menus, it's this little thing here. So by default, it's gonna look like that. You just highlight over what you want, click that little half thing, and that's how you get uh, fractions. So pretty cool there. Um, ligatures <clears throat> is another open type feature that's super useful. Um, basically the ligatures that I created for Uniform Pro are ones where like the R and the T meet. And you can see that creates a real, you know, there's a, there's a bunch of negative space on the right side of the R. There's also a bunch of negative space on the left side of the T. And that just, when those combine, it creates this huge negative space of white here in between the R and the T. And in a bunch of body text, that can be very, uh, can draw your eye to it. And it can just mess up the rhythm of the text. So basically the ligatures that I created kind of clip off the left side of that T just to decrease that white space a little bit. Um, you, know, you don't want it to just completely go away so the characters are still recognizable, but it at least reduces it a little bit so that uh, the characters 
these character combinations blend in with the rest of the text a lot better. And basically ligatures, the way they work is as you're typing, um, as long as you have ligatures turned on, which is right here, as you're typing, they just automatically happen. You can see how the T uh, has that little horizontal piece to the left of it, but when you type an F next to it, it disappears. You type an R next to it, it disappears because the ligature, as long as it's turned on, is automatically substituting those characters. So that's pretty cool there. Um, now this is one of the feature, one of the upgraded pro features in Uniform Pro, and these are these specialty ligatures that I created. So basically, if you take these certain character combinations and you type them, you'll get these symbols just in your regular text. So for instance, <clears throat> as you can see, this is Uniform Pro Condensed. If I type a left parentheses, it just shows up as a left parentheses. And if I type a right parentheses next to it, it instantly turns into a circle. If I type a left uh, bracket and a right bracket next to it, it instantly turns into a uh, square. If I type a left uh, scientific bracket and a right scientific bracket, it instantly turns into a star. You say, well, how do I get this uh, filled in square? Well, you would type the left bracket, then a plus symbol, then the right bracket, and boom, it instantly turns into a filled in square. Same thing with a circle, a left parentheses, a plus symbol, and a right parentheses, and you've automatically got a filled in circle typed out. You don't have to go through your panel and go through all the windings and find the perfect one and you know, super confusing. And then if you uh, send it to someone and they don't have the right windings as you, it gets all screwed up and it's super annoying. You know, This is a huge pet peeve of mine when I was designing. So I included this feature in this font because it was just so crucial that I would have it. And I thought it'd be so useful. And I've, as I've been using it, it's definitely been a huge, huge help. So that's those, but there's also other ones. So for instance, to get these arrows, to get this arrow pointing to the left, I just type the last sense symbol, and then right next to it, I type a hyphen, and it automatically turns into that arrow. To get this arrow, I type the hyphen, and then I type the greater than symbol, and get that. To get the up arrow, I'll type the less than symbol, and then the plus symbol to get that. To get the down arrow, I type the plus symbol, and then the greater than symbol, and it gets the down arrow. So those are pretty cool. But then I've also got these specialty arrows. So to get this one, as you can see up here, type the left parentheses, the less than symbol, the hyphen, and then close parentheses. And now I get black circle with the arrow as a negative cutout. And if I wanna turn it into this symbol that's outline circle, I simply just add an extra set of parentheses on the outside and boom. There we go. And like I said, if you want to figure out, well, how, wait, what did you do to type this in? Let's go back here, turn off the ligatures. You can see what all the characters are. Turn it back on and it's automatically changes. So that's that. Um, alternates, basically there's a bunch of alternates for uniform and the alternates are basically the G, the uppercase G. The default one basically is where it's just a circle with the crossbar the alternate G has this straightened stem here. And then the K, the default K is just kind of a, the right side of the K is just a triangle. And here it's got the type of K with the two diagonal members that don't meet together at the stem. And then same with the lowercase K and then the A, the default A is a two story A and the alternate A is just a circular one story A. And basically to access these, there again, you go to open type and right here, stylistic alternates and check that it swat switches them back and forth. So that's that. Uh, now sarcasm mark. Now this is something that, you know, I've been thinking about for years and years and years. And I designed this sarcasm mark in uniform pro. And you know, there's, I've seen many, many different, uh, proposals for sarcasm marks over the years and some of them seemed really stupid some were ugly some of them didn't even look like real letters but I feel like this is the perfect sarcasm mark you know it's just one period with two diagonal lines very looks very similar to exclamation point and you know I think that we should standardize this make it the sarcasm mark and uh, so 
leave a comment if you agree with me and uh, share this with somebody if you believe in sarcasm arc. So that's that. And let's get into some uh, examples of Uniform Pro in use. So this is basically, you know, kind of a mock version of Google Translate that I created. And, you know, there again, I'm just trying to showcase that, uh, you know, English or that Latin characters like English are obviously designed in Uniform Pro. But then we've also got Cyrillic characters like Russian and the Greek language as well. And uh, there again, you see this circle here, you know, that's a symbol that's part, that's part of Uniform Pro. You don't, that's not a wingding. You just simply just type left parentheses, right parentheses, and boom, you get the circle. You say, I want that to be filled in. Go to the center of that, add a plus symbol, and now you've got a filled in circle. And these, these arrows up here, same thing. These are not wingdings. These are just simply left parentheses and hyphen. And these are all typed out there. These are just ligatures that automatically happen if you're using a program that supports ligatures like Illustrator, like Photoshop, like InDesign. And uh, these are huge help. They really, uh, I've been, like I said, I really love those features, these, these ligature symbols. And um, this design, you know, kind of showcases the versatility of Uniform Pro where we've got the regular uh, width used up here because I think it looks nice uh, where you know you can see these are very circular geometric forms and the O and the G and the E and I think it, that looks really nice but then here where you've kind of got this condensed space this is uniform condensed uniform pro condensed and that way you know you save some space and you can fit a few more letters in there but then here at the bottom it's Uniform Pro Extra Condensed. So that's basically, you know, if you want to have some more text in your design, but you want to differentiate it from the rest of the text because it is something significantly different. It's not a title, it's not the, the main text, it's something different. Um, by using Uniform Pro Extra Condensed, you can make it look different, but at the same time, the, sit, the characters match the rest. It's not like it's a completely different font that doesn't match it, these fonts at all. So that's that. Um, here's another uh, use that I came up with. And, um, you know, I was at Ikea the other day. And, you know, Ikea really has got some serious ty typographical problems. I mean, back in the day, they used to just use Futura. Their stuff looked great. It was perfect. Uh, then they switched over to Verdana a number of years back. And, you know, that was obviously a disaster. And then... There's a new third font that they're using sometimes, and you know they just really, like I said, they used to have such a good uh, typo typographical palette going on, and today it's it's just a nightmare. So, um, but I basically created this as just a cool example that I thought would look good, and uh, this is kind of like I, I copied one of the banners that I saw <coughs> in IKEA, and basically, there again, this is kind of showcasing some of the features of Uniform Pro. As you can see, we've got the A that is the uh, alternate A. You know, by default, the lowercase a looks like that. But I created the circular alternate A because kind of similar to how Futura is, that's how IKEA used to have their fonts and that was kind of iconic, I feel like, and I really like that. So that's that. Um, you see, you've got the, the fractions here that blend with the rest of the text. So that's an important feature. Um, down here, you've, this is Uniform Pro Condensed. There again, that's great for body copy if you've got a limited space because then you can fit more text uh, in, the, in the same area. And you've got also these symbols, like I talked about, that are automatic. And you say, well, I don't really like that symbol. I think that's too dark. You can't really see it. I mean, you can just make it just the regular uh, arrow if you want. If you say, ah, it's too scrimpy. Well, then we'll make it the outlined arrow. You say, okay, perfect. Yeah, I like the way that looks. So maybe we'll go with that. And then down here, talked about the numerator currency and numbers. So as you can see, this is the numerator. The default looks like that. And you just go over here to numerator. And then it blends perfectly with... The regular characters like I said so if you have a price like this and you want to you want to have these smaller 
characters that blend with them. You just click numerator and it's all right there for you. You don't have to adjust any widths or you don't have to adjust the weight of any characters or, or fiddle with that at all. Another example that I created here is to basically uh, mimic like a, a dashboard on a car. And one of the advantages of Uniform Pro is because you have the multiple widths, if you want to distinguish between two different uh, styles of fonts, but at the same time, you want them to still look similar, still look like they match, you know, for instance, this one we've got, you know, for miles per hour, we've got Uniform Pro condensed. For kilometers per hour, Uniform Pro extra condensed. And the beauty of that system is that, like I said, you know, the four, the, the numbers still match. They look extremely similar, but they are slightly different enough to distinguish between the two. You know, you don't have to just only rely on changing the color or only rely on changing the size. Here, you've changed the style of the font, but they still match basically perfectly. They're just different widths of the same font family. So I think that's a really cool effect there. And the last thing I want to mention is I did recently launch Uniform Pro. And you know, as an introductory sale, um, putting the whole complete family at 85% off. Um, in uh, US dollars, it's about $299 to buy the whole family. And uh, with the 85% off, it costs about $44, $45 uh, US dollars. And you know, some people, they don't like deep discounts. Uh, I think they're great. You know, it's, it's a way for a new font to get some, some much needed traction, but also, I mean, it's a way to just get the design in the hands of designers who maybe can't afford, you know, $300 for a type family. And um, so that's on sale now. It's, it's definitely not gonna last for forever. Um, so take advantage while you can. And uh, basically, you know, with that sale, you're basically getting 42 fonts for, for about 44 bucks. So, I mean, you can't beat that deal. These are professionally designed, quality fonts. And uh, one of the benefits of Uniform uh, is because it's, you know, geometric uh, typeface, it's kind of timeless. You know, you can use it for pretty much anything. You know, when I, when I create designs, um, I mean, 90% of the time I can use uniform or uniform condensed or uniform extra condensed in all of my designs. It's basically a workhorse typeface. Uh, it's not just a, a specific style that you can only use uh, for, you know, just select designs. You know, it's kind of neutral enough that you can use it for pretty much everything. So definitely uh, like the versatility of geometric fonts like uniform here. So I uh, hope this was informative, hope you learned a lot, hope you enjoy the new typeface and go pick up your copy of Uniform Pro. Like I said, it's 85% off, uh, just the intro sale. It won't ever be discounted this cheaply ever again. So, you know, if uh, if you want to get a real good deal on some cool fonts that, you know, basically last you for your lifetime, you know, this is your chance. So uh, thanks again for checking this out and uh, have fun designing something great.